How's it going, my evil residents? Today, we are going to be reviewing all of the costumes in the Resident Evil 1 Remake, the HD version that is released on modern consoles, the Xbox One, PS4, stuff like that. We are going to be reviewing the eight main costumes in this game. Rebecca will not be on this list because she's just too epic to include. She's beyond ability to rank. Uh, we're just going to be ranking Chris and Jill's costumes uh, from least epic to most epic. And uh, yeah, it'll be really fun. So uh, let's just get right into the list. What are you doing? Don't walk on my roof. Coming in last place in number eight is Chris's casual outfit. Now, uh, this outfit does not feel like a Chris outfit to me. That is the main reason it is like ranked last. It's the only one that really has this issue of just not feeling like the character that it's supposed to be. Technically, there's another um, costume on this list that has a similar problem, not quite the same one. Honestly, the way I can best describe this is it doesn't feel like a golden boy, military man, uh, former Air Force Chris. What this feels like is the guy who got his room ranked the worst on the hit TV show Room Raiders. Um, he would have the room with all the weird posters up, uh, you'd have the tissues and the lotion next to his bed. That's who this feels like. This does not feel like Chris to me. I'm a senior, I'm a panther. Can't date anybody from a rival school. Well, that narrows the competition down. Boo. I, I, don't, I don't remember. It went. Hello? Hello? At number seven, we have Jill's BSAA outfit from uh, Resident Evil 5 Lost in Nightmares that they just ported into this game because they thought it was so cool. I'm not a big fan of this outfit. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it in Lost in Nightmares either. It's it's so generic for a Jill outfit. Jill always has great costumes, uh, sort of. And uh, this is just her most generic look ever, I think. I think it's her most generic look she has ever had. Uh, this is even above her wetsuit in Revelations, which I think is more iconic, honestly. Uh, this this outfit's just boring. I mean, that's why it's at 7. It's, it's the most boring outfit. I just... I don't have any really strong thoughts about it. I can't hate it, because it's not like, not Jill, but it's also not interesting whatsoever. So it goes to number seven. I hate the fucking place! I fucking hate it! It's full of dickheads! I fucking hate it! At number six, we have Chris BSAA, which is another report from Lost in Nightmares. To exemplify why this outfit doesn't fit in the game as young Chris, from the straight on view, Chris is bulging, throbbing biceps clip into his body. Okay? I think that should exemplify why future Chris just does not fit past Chris in any way. This man went through so much between this game and Code Veronica. <laughs> it just, it doesn't work for me. I can't use this skin and take this game seriously whatsoever. It just looks so weird. This skin's not bad. It's just in the wrong game. Uh, the Jill outfit doesn't have this problem as much, it's still kind of weird, but this one is just, I, I it, it's really funny, and that's why I ranked it above Jill's. It, it's just really funny to play the game with this skin. Anybody not wear a two million sunblock is gonna have a real bad day, get it? At number five, we have Jill's army outfit. Uh, I'm a big Terminator fan, I love Terminators, so uh, any reference to Sarah Connor is gonna uh, get me all quirked up. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's why this goes to number five. It's a great skin, it's a great reference. Uh, I didn't rank it any higher because Jill just has uh, really great costumes, meaning uh, I never really use it, which is kind of sad. Next time I play this, I might uh, I might run this outfit. Uh, it's just it's just a solid outfit. It's nothing uh, spectacular or anything, but it's you know it's good. Wesker, so you've come. At number four, we have Chris's default outfit, the iconic Chris look. I would argue this is his most iconic look. Uh, besides maybe his Resident Evil 5 look? Uh, but that could be argued. Kinda depends who you ask. Uh, it looks great. I mean, the you can't go wrong with the classic stars vest. The green looks great on him. I love his chipper attitude. I love his nice, uh, nice good guy haircut. He, he just looks swell. He looks swell. Okay, I think that's the best way to describe Resident Evil 1 Chris. Swell. Uh, this doesn't go higher because Jill's costumes are great, and uh, Chris has another costume in this game that I think is his best look in any game and uh, is severely underrated. So, uh, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. Jill, sorry I made you wait. 
I knew you'd come. At number three is Jill Star's outfit. I love Jill Star's outfit in pretty much any game. Can't go wrong with it. It's going to be top three in any game it's in. My problem with it in this game is just how distractingly hilarious the boob physics are. Like, she has a shirt on. There's no reason they should be bouncing around like a waterbed in the 80s, okay? It, it just looks hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of distracting. <laughs> like, you're just watching a cutscene and they're just like, boing, boing, boing. But anyway, great outfit. That just, that one thing, that <laughs> it's just so weird. And it kind of drags it down a little bit, so it goes to number three. At number two, we have Jill's casual outfit, as the game calls it, but it's her RE3 outfit, and uh, this is the best rendition of the Resident Evil 3 outfit we got in any game. Easily. If not for Chris's other costume being the best Chris costume like ever, this would be number one. Under any other scenario, this would be a number one. It's exactly the outfit from the original Resident Evil 3, but with modern in like 10 quotation marks graphics. Uh, it's, it looks incredible. It's got the corset style top that I complained about in the 3 remake video. It's the skirt is correct. The boots look amazing. She just she just looks awesome. Okay. I don't know what more you want me to say. This is the correct RE3 Jill outfit and they should have just ported this into 3 remake. And number one, uh, this, I don't, I don't know how many people agree with me, but Chris's Code Veronica look is his best look in any game, any Resident Evil game. It's his best look by far. Just something about the green shirt, the green pants with the black vest, the black RPD vest. I just think it looks the best. It has the good qualities of Leon's Resident Evil 2 remake outfit, but with Chris's personality and color palette, it just looks great. It matches the other RPD members that we've seen better than like the vests. I think it I think it makes more sense than the vests. Uh, it it just it looks so good. He looks incredible. Look at this man. He's wearing just like the normal just like cop outfit with the cool RPD vest. He looks great. He looks awesome. Anyway, that's gonna do it for the ranking. Uh, please let me know your list in the comments. Please let me know uh, what costume rankings you want to see in the future because I'm not really sure. What game I want to rank next? Uh, can't really rank seven and eight because they're first person, and Ethan has no costumes anyway. So uh, uh, yeah, let me know what costume rankings you guys want to see. Uh, we do have channel memberships up, ninety nine cents. You get an herb that gets super rare and epic over time. Uh, no pressure, but if you want to support the channel and help me replace my shitty microphone, uh, that is the most direct way to do it. Either way, I appreciate you watching the video. If you leave a like or you comment appreciate it greatly if you subscribe i'm gonna give you a kiss on the lips and uh yeah stay evil my residents